Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna cover the Jitbag Compose layout. We have box, we have columns, and we have rows. We also have constraint layout in Compose, but it's actually not used. So we're only gonna deal with columns, rows, and boxes. So a layout at the end is a container of UI elements that can be positioned according to the screen. And using Jitbag Compose layouts, you can actually transform any UI design into an application that works with Jitbag Compose. If you came from XML, this might be a little bit different since in XML we used to deal with constraint layout and views. So here instead, we're gonna work with columns, rows, and boxes. And by the way, as I said, there's constraint layout, but it's not actually used. So most of the layouts are designed using boxes, columns, and rows. So let's actually get started with this video. Okay, so now I'm inside an empty composer project and the first layout we're gonna start with today is the box layout. So inside here, let's actually create a box. To create a box, we can say box, click on enter. For the modifier, well, I'm going to use the modifier here, but I haven't explained that yet in my playlist. So uh, I'm gonna explain that in the next video. But for now, as I said in the previous video, the modifier is an entry point for common functions in Jitbag Compose. Like, if you want to specify the size of your composable, you can use the modifier. If you want to add padding, you can use the modifier. You want to add border, you also can use the modifier. As I said in the next video, we'll cover the modifier more deeply. But for now, let's actually add a modifier here. So we're going to use the modifier class. And now to give this box the maximum size of the screen, we can say fill max size. Now let's open the body of this box. And inside here, we can add any composable function. So we're gonna just add a simple text in here and I'm gonna say, and for the text, let's say hello. Now let's launch the app to see the position of this text. Okay, as you can see, the box layout here plays our text in the top left corner of our device. Now let's see what's gonna happen if we add another text here below the first text. Let's say welcome. Now as you can see, the welcome text here overlap the hello text. And this is the behavior of the box layout. Now for now, let's actually comment this one and let me show you one attribute inside the box function here, which is content alignment. So let's call that. And now we can specify where to show our content inside this box. So we can say alignment. And now we have two many options here, as you can see in the center. So here we can show it the bottom center here. We can show it the bottom end. So here, bottom start here. And so we also have the same thing for top. And well, the same thing for center. Now let's actually put this uh, into the center of our box. So our hello text is going to show in the middle of the screen. Let's launch the app to see that. And as you can see, we showed that in the middle of the screen. Let's try to change that to center start. So this time it's going to be in here. Okay, now what we also can do inside the box layout here is to align each composable inside this box layout. And to do that, we need to use the modifier again. So we can say modifier. And since we are inside a box scope, we have the align modifier. So we can say modifier.align. And here you can just specify alignment, just like here. So I'm gonna copy that and paste in here. And this time we wanna show it at the top center. And the same thing for the welcome text here. So we can copy this whole thing, paste it in here. And this time let's actually show it top end. So let's launch the app. And as you can see, we showed hello here, we showed welcome here. So what we can do now is let's delete this text. Let me duplicate this like that. And let's actually show this at the top start, top center, top end. Let's show this center start, center, center end. This one here, bottom start. And this one bottom center and this one bottom end. Let me delete this one and let's see this app now. And as you can see, we have nine hellos here. The first one top start, then top center, top end and so on. Okay, now moving to the next layout we have, which is the column layout. So let's type here column and here we can add our elements. So let's add text, let's add hello. And let's also create another one here and let's call this welcome. And as you can see, we have hello, welcome. So the hello text came first, then the welcome text came below it. Now we have important arguments that we can pass to this column. First of all, let's actually give uh, the maximum size for this one using the modifier. So let's specify that. And now let me just put that into a new line. 
And here we actually have something called vertical arrangement. So we can arrange our elements inside this column uh, vertically. And here we can use the arrangement object. So arrangement like that. So we have bottom, we have center, space around, space between, space evenly, and top. Let me go through this. So bottom, it will just push all the content of this column to the bottom of the column. As you can see, now the hello and welcome are shown at the bottom of the column. Center, so you already know what that's gonna look like in the center. And we also have space between. So space between here will push the elements of this column to the top and the bottom edges of the column and place the content between them. Let me actually show you that in practice. Let's start the app. Now the hello text will show the top and the welcome text will show the bottom. Now if we had more elements in here, let's put another text. Let's call this hi. Let's launch the app. This one should uh, this one should be placed in the middle, as you can see. So space between at the end will calculate the height of our column, then place our elements with equal spacing. So the spacing between hello and hi is the same spacing between hi and welcome. If we add one more here, and let's launch the app, and let's see that in practice. So the spacing between hello and hi is the same one between hi and hi, the same one between hi and welcome. But notice that when we use space between, we don't actually have spacing between the, the elements that at the edge of our column. So the hello item here doesn't have spacing between the hello and the border of our column. So as you can see, it plays at the top. Same thing for welcome to placed at the max bottom. And we also have space evenly. So what this does is the same thing, but it will actually add spacing between the border of the first element and the last element or the bottom element with the borders of our column. So if we start the app now, we will see that spacing. As you can see, we have spacing between the hello and the column border, spacing between the hello and hi, hi with hi, hi with welcome and welcome with the border of our column. And all of these spacing amounts are equaled. Now the last thing we have here is space. So this one will act a little bit similar to space evenly, but the difference here is the amount of spacing we have between the first element and the last element. So this spacing is the half amount of the spacing we have between this and this, and this and this of course. So this is the main difference between space around and space evenly. Okay, now let's actually make this space between and we also have something called horizontal alignment. So we can pass, same thing, we can pass alignment, but this one is gonna align our elements horizontally. So we have three different options here. And as you can see, we have many different options here. We have center horizontally, bottom, center, end, and start. So if we put this to center horizontally, if we launch the app, so all of our elements are uh, in the center. So as you can see, now we centered our elements horizontally. We have end, so at the end of the screen. And we also have a start, so which is actually the default value. And one more thing I want to show you for the arrangement attribute here is a function called spaced by. So here you can specify a fixed value, a fixed spacing value, and you can specify a dB value here. So we can say 10 dB and we can import dB. Now if we launch the app, you will see a fixed value of spacing between our elements. So this value is 10 dB as you can see. Okay, now we finished with the column layout. Let's take a look at the row layout here. So let's type row. So instead of vertical arrangement, we have horizontal arrangement. And instead of horizontal alignment, we have vertical alignment. Now let's just delete these values. And we actually have the same thing we had with the column. So we have arrangement. We have all the values that we have before. So we have space between, space around, space evenly, and center start. Let's actually make this uh, space evenly. And for the vertical alignment, we also have the same thing, but this time we align our elements vertically. So let's type alignment. And here, let's actually put this at the bottom this time, at the bottom of our screen. Let's launch the app now. So as you can see, here are the elements. Let's make this center vertically to see them. So let's type, so let's launch the app again. And as you can see, so we showed them in a row and we centered that row vertically. Okay, that was all for this video. I have covered the fundamentals of Jetpack Compose layout, which you're gonna need to use most of the times. In the next video, I'm gonna specialize a video for the modifier attribute. 
After that, we will put all what we have learned in practice and build something out of it. So we may be gonna build some story card, professional one, of course. So yeah, stay tuned and hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next video.